What's up everybody, Thomas Martinez here back with another video. Today I got here a beautiful contemporary modern home. It is $1,035,000. It is a four bed, four bath, and it's roughly around 3,680 square feet sitting on a .17 acre lot. So let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and check it out, come on. All right guys, welcome inside. I'm gonna go ahead and close this heavy duty door right here. It's a pivot door as you can tell. Just kind of look at it. So if you pivot it, it's open all the way from the other side. Very nice, I love that little touch there. Um, moving on to the actual home itself. So obviously we have 20 foot ceilings here in the foyer. We have the second floor connected all the way downstairs to the first. Oversized, beautiful hardware lighting built throughout the entire home. And just moving along right here, we have beautiful staging in the, in the living room area where obviously we have the gas starter fireplace. And one thing that I really love just about this home is just kind of like how they put it together and made it look um, kind of like combined to how the contemporary modern look is kind of giving me that vibe. So um, let's go ahead and move on this way. I'll get to the kitchen in a minute, but just want to explain real quick the mudroom. So obviously it's attached to the two car garage here and we have this little like accent wall of wood right here and the custom cabinets just in case you need a storage anything and stuff like that. We got the coat room as well right here just so you can kind of storage your coats or whatever whenever you're walking on the way out. All right, so moving on to the actual kitchen itself. We have Kalakata Quartz built throughout the entire uh, island of the kitchen. And these beautiful lighting fixtures are really nice. Uh, we have a Bertie Sony appliances with a gas starter stove. I believe it's one, two, three, four, five gas starter. And we have the refrigerator as well, right here with some water inside in case you get thirsty. <laughs> um, coming along this way, obviously we have a closet here where you can storage all everything else. Very nice, got one, two, three, four, five shelves built right here. And we do have a microwave right here as well. Just so, you know, it kind of separates it from the kitchen. And you know, you kind of, you know, you don't want to interrupt anybody. Uh, let's go over here. I really love this backsplash. You don't see that a lot, they don't put, you know, usually you kind of walk into a home and you see like a, a subtle backsplash of just kind of like um, subway tile or something like that. but. Obviously, they went with a different look here. Um, moving on, more custom cabinets reaching out all the way up. In case you need to hide like your wine, your drinks, and all that good stuff, snacks. Coming this way, we have the formal dining room area, and we have more of these beautiful light fixtures that you don't see anywhere else. And, you know, obviously, um, you know, you, with a lot of modern homes, you really want to get some of that natural lighting inside the house. So we do have like these beautiful open windows just so you can look off into the backyard and kind of see what's going on there. Alright guys, so heading down this way to the other corner of the home. Obviously you can look throughout the backyard right here. Um, uh, right here in this corner we have the primary bedroom of the house where it's kind of secluded so you can have some of that privacy. You can definitely fit a king size bed in here and you do get some natural lighting as well just so you don't feel closed in inside of like an actual box. Um, this one's looking out into the backyard as well and coming around the corner here this is where we have the primary bathroom so go ahead and take a quick look we do have some red like some very nice towel laid throughout the entire area we have dual vanity sinks floating vanity sinks which is a good plus i do love that little touch there very nice um you know all the way up to the ceiling mirrors and we have the vessel tub laid out right here because I mean, think about it, it's the new construction. Why, you, you gotta have a tub, right? So, um, you know, you got three shower heads, not one, not two, but this one um, is kind of leading throughout in the middle, and it's just very nice, simplistic, laid throughout. And I love the, how they did the pattern tile at the very bottom of it as well. I love that little touch that they did there. Come this way. Got some more cabinet space for your sturdy tiles. We got the little toilet right here as well, toilet room. And this is where we have the walkthrough closet. So, I mean, however, you know, whatever you want to store, whatever you want to put in here, you can definitely have enough space just to put your shoes up, clothing. Um, it's up to you which one wants to choose each side. But yeah, this is a very nice walkthrough closet. And just for like simplicity and accessibility, coming around this corner, we have the utility room. 
washer dryer so you don't gotta jump from one place to another you literally like just walk like steps away from your closet pull all your laundry out and just kind of bring it in so you can you know store it and make sure like if you're throwing a party no one has to run into your you know your washer and dryer let's go this way now so now we're kind of at the beginning in front of the house again so we kind of made like a little like alley-oop um, so coming right here we do have like a full-size bathroom um, this one's built a little bit more like I wouldn't say aggressive a little bit more masculine um, probably just because you know we have the vanity sink here and it's connected to the office a little more darker tones um, so I mean just it's just a simple uh, simplicity walk-in shower and coming on this way this is actually where we have the office here which can be converted into a bedroom if you wanted to, but right now it just stays as an office. But obviously it's looking off into the front of the yard and you know, that's what we got here going on. Okay, cool. So now we're back into the entrance right in the, uh, the foyer of the house. We're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and kind of check out the other two bedrooms that we have. And we're also gonna check out the game room. So we'll go ahead and follow me. Let's go up here. More natural lighting coming throughout into the entire home. Get a closer look at these uh, oversized hardware uh, linings. And here we are. Let's go ahead, before I get into the bedrooms and stuff, let's go ahead and head right here into the middle. So, very open. This can be converted into like a game room or a, mo a media room. Um, this one's kind of going to be looking off into the backyard of the house. So, go ahead and come in right here, real quick. Now, we got like a little bar area with some more. Um, you know, like at the porch right here, you got a little wine cooler as well, which is very nice. I do love that. Custom cabinets. Kind of just, you know, very similar to what everything that we've been looking at so far. But yeah, this is very, very nice. And let's go ahead and take a look outside in the backyard. Go this way. All right, so go ahead and just show them kind of like the backyard space that we have here. Um, very nice, very simple. It's not too big, not too small. You can still have, like if you have pets and stuff over, you can definitely have them run around and have a good time. And then we have this little balcony here as well, where you can see like the, pa the paneling, there's wood. Um, which kind of adds on to the architecture of the home and the craftsmanship. Um, I do love that and I won't turn on the light just because it's very hot outside and you don't really need any light right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop back inside. So I'm going to close this. <clears throat> and let me close this real quick. There we go. Alright, let's go this way. All right, so this bathroom is leading on to the first guest bedroom. Um, very nice, very simplistic, different look than the other one that we saw downstairs by the office. But you know, you got your, you got your uh, vanity sink here, you got your mirror, and then you got your little tub with a shower kind of added on right there with some tile built throughout the entire area. And coming on this way, this is the guest bedroom. Uh, we do have a walk-in closet um, and then just carpet built throughout the entire room and got some nice um, open windows kind of not just like the regular square look but you do have like a little paneling there coming on this way lastly we do have uh, the fourth bedroom um, which is slightly a bit bigger. This one's looking off to the front of the house, kind of like where the office is sitting at. We're right on top of the office. Um, so you get a little bit of look of the front yard and a little different look here. Same vanity, same sink. You got the mirror right here as well. Got the tub, stand-up shower with some tile just kind of slapped on throughout the entire corner of here. And if you want to come on this way, we have another walk-in closet. I know it's a little dark, you see. There you go. There you go. Very nicely uh, laid out. Um, let's go ahead and head this way. I would say the hardest part about just like giving tours and stuff is just having to keep my breath going. Like it's very hard. It's definitely like a cardio workout. But anyways, let's go ahead and head downstairs. Yeah, this camera's like an arm workout. 
Yeah, this camera's like an arm workout. Really? <laughs> the light is. All right guys, so that's gonna complete the whole entire tour of this home. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm gonna be giving out some more tours like this in the near future, hopefully once a week I would like to do it. Um, but yeah, so just a little quick recap of this home. It's a contemporary modern new construction build. It's a million $35,000. It is a four bed, four bath, roughly around 3,680 square feet. Very nice and you know just big enough for a family to kind of live in. And one thing I want to mention is don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so I can go ahead and keep putting out some more videos like this. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Again, my name is Thomas Martinez. I will put all the information of this home in the description and I'll see you on the next one.